So I recently had a problem with my compressor where the air inside was warm and I heard a noise outside and I thought it was my catalytic converter. Lo and behold, it was this, a clutch plate for the actual compressor right there. This little screw right here was um, actually missing and the, the clutch plate was wedged between the cover for the fan and the um, and the actual compressor so it was there just rubbing on this pulley right here so what I had to do was I first went ahead and shake my pulley to make sure that the bearing inside was not messed up and then um, I did a little bit of diagnostic and I checked the clutch, clutch brake cover and the good thing is is it didn't fall along into the fan because I just replaced this radiator right here brand new and that would have been a problem because either the fan would have been torn up or the radiator or something down further down in the engine so that that was actually a lifesaver so what I did is I bought a kit um, it's a clutch plate kit it's made by Santec that's it right there and it comes with it comes with this screw and um, <clears throat> the little um, I guess they are washers or whatever it is the actual shims and everything in it and I bought this here from AutoZone for like $9.99 but you could find it on eBay for like two dollars and change so I bought this and all I needed really was a screw because I went inside the clutch brake cover and I found that the shims were still in there so I got two extra shims right down there in the corner to use if I have a problem in case I gotta rebuild and change the bearing but um my shims were still up inside of the, the hole be, behind of this screw. Now, the biggest problem is is getting that screw to be tightened again because if you lo notice, the whole thing spins in the direction of the tightener. So, I got some Loctite <laughs> and I put on it, if I could find it someplace here. Anyway, I got the blue Loctite, which is the medium one, and I put some on this bolt here. And then I went ahead and I tightened it as much as I could by putting a screwdriver and a plier and taking a, um, getting my wife to hit it with a hammer to get it as tight as possible. So every now and again, I guess I'll check that screw to make sure that it's tight. I also went to Ace Hardware Store and I bought another screw. Another screw. I don't know. It's not going to be clear. But I bought another screw the same size just in case that one get lost for the kit. The screw is about 35 cents, so. I went ahead and I checked the AC, everything is cool. This is spinning, not making any noise anymore. Like, it's been making noise for years now. I didn't even notice that it was a problem. I don't have a cover for this. And um, I guess that's probably one of the reason why, but nevertheless, there's no noise in it after I tighten it and everything, so. If you have that same problem where your clutch brake cover comes off for your for your um, compressor, you know, just go online and look up the AC compressor um, repair kit by San Santec S A N T E C H, and just go ahead and order you one. And um, the bearing is about fifteen dollars on eBay too, so you could go ahead and find that and use that for a rebuild on this. It's very easy to just take this cover off and then you just loosen the belt by, by the tension pulley and then once you get the belt off you both unbolt these four screws one here one there uh, one right here and another one in the back back there so once you take that off you can lift the whole compressor off and then you could you could actually basically work on the compressor without actually removing the, um, the lines but if you have to remove the lines there are two screws up on top which means you have to put Freon in there. I didn't have that problem, by the, and I thank God I had to deal with that. Anyway, I heard horror stories about these screws being missing on many Land Rovers. So I guess over time, that screw being on the tension or whatever it is, it just goes up. Anyway, I just wanted to share this information with you all on YouTube. I hope that is um, valuable to you. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks.